We've examined the industry and our place in it. We've worked hard to widen our excellence perimeter, engender fiscal aptitude, and re-intermediate intuitive strategies to promote cutting edge, principle-centered, to end mononectal alignment in the center sphere with a total linkage methodology concentration on our player base. And guys, I think what we've come up with is pretty exciting. I mean, you all know what's coming. I can't keep it a secret from you any longer. <laughs> guys, I am so excited to debut right here on this very stage. Devolver Digital's first foray into the Battle Royale play space. Battle Royale F2. Space that we believe is the future's future. future. Shut your mouth, you miserable piece of human garbage! Oh, shit! Let's get this nonsense started. I read on the internet this one time that some of you had some proper shit to say about our press conference last year. That it wasn't professional. It didn't feel like a real video games conference by a real video games publisher, what publishes real video games. That it was all some kind of joke. Joke. Well, you were super wrong. And to prove it, we have ramped up this year's Jiminy Thinger to include everything that you might expect from a production of this magnitude. This year, we have overly flashy graphics to distract you from mundane dialogue. Yeah. Guest appearances from personalities that you can recognize and project some misplaced familiarity onto because you have seen them in videos on the internet. And whose appearance will serve to light up a predictable nostalgia response. And it is 2018 and that is how marketing is done now. We also have this little guy faking like he's playing a new game on the screen, despite it clearly being a pre-scripted sequence, meticulously planned out and pre-recorded months in advance. But what stood out most of all, what really stood out in the flaming trash pile, idiot island, in the unending ocean of unrequested feedback from last year's press conference was that you, simpletons, yes, you, you stinking bug fuck shit minions, seem to think that we didn't provide enough new games, reveals, first looks, or Whatever else you think might have made your dumb little life a little less pointless in that one moment on the internet that one time. And that, that hit us right in the Reveals for projects that you never thought possible. The first is from Game Pires. It is their Supermax survival sim scum. You should buy it. It is going to make us huge numbers. It's probably pretty great, but I won't know because I do not play any of this garbage. Roll the garbage! Scum Season 2 is gearing up, with Tech One's most violent defenders on display in our award-winning survival broadcast. With over three times as many drones, viewers will enjoy the contestants' most intimate moments. New weapons and gear elevate the action, but it's the trademark paranoia that drives the savagery to new heights, making Scum a thrill for the entire family. Fear not, Tech One Security is on site to keep contestants in line. Oh my. And of course, fan favorite Mr. Smiles is back again for rule enforcement. <gasps> Scum, welcome to the next era in Supermax survival.
All contestant corpses will be reused in scum per government regulations. Well, that looks like a hell of a lot of fun for the kids, am I right? Go to scumgame.com for more information, or don't. I get paid either way. Up next, we have Devolver Digital's newest bleeding edge technology innovation. Loot boxes. Loot boxes have made headlines over the past year, and you, the moronic gobbling maw of consumer idiocy that you are, have shown little to no regret in just plain dumping your money into this deeply insulting monetization model. At the same time, in parallel, it seems we have seen cryptocurrencies roll in and jackpunch the global socioeconomic landscape right in the sweetness, creating an entirely new culture of massively unqualified financial experts with absolutely no idea what the shit they are talking about. If there is one thing at Devolver Digital that we love, it is talking confidently about important issues we are completely ignorant about and then fleecing fat stacks of cash out of an uninformed marketplace that really should know better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am thrilled to introduce you to our newest product, Loot Box Coin. Loot Box Coin is the world's first cryptocurrency that is so fucking secure, not even the owners know its actual value. Totally unregulated and absent of all civil, governmental, international, personal, or institutional liability. Loot Box Coin aims to become the global standard in meaningless wealth acquisition and questionable financial stability. Loot Box Coin cannot be mined, cannot be opened, cannot be blockchained, cannot be walleted or crypto verified. It can only be bought through Devolver Digital with real, actual money you have in your actual bank account. <laughs> Upon purchase, one of our hastily trained economists will create and send you an actual physical loot box coin just like the one I am holding right here in my motherfucking hand. What is it worth? I don't know. What can you buy with it? Probably nothing. Does the US government consider it a form of gambling? Fuck if I care. Loot box coin is available now on the Devolver Digital online store for a price that changes every hour on the hour for no discernible reason. Don't believe me? Well, go fire up a browser and check it out. <laughs> up next, we have a game that some of you may have seen on the socials via hilariously violent gifts from developer Dead Toast. It's pronounced and GIFs. <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, GIFs. You say GIFs. It's an acronym. Acronyms pronunciation is determined by the creator of the said acronym, like a proper name. In this case, the creator of the graphics interchange format, Steve Wilhite, says it's GIFs. Choosy developers choose GIFs. <laughs> Anyway, here's my friend Pedro. I've never been particularly fond of violence, but these are bad people. Bad people that need to be stopped. So let's get crazy. Let's get weird. Let's get, well, bananas.
past few years, we have seen a new trend in gaming hardware. Companies reaching deep into their back catalogs to construct cute as fuck little miniature fun size versions of their legacy hardware overflowing with classic games of yesteryear asking you to pay a ridiculous premium for games that you owned 20 years ago and will be utterly disappointed by playing again today somehow you all are buying these things up in mass. You are paying triple sticker price to some creep selling them out of the back of his car next to a dumpster out behind Taco Bell and not the nice Taco Bell, but the sketchy one that sells fried chicken and pizza and always smells faintly of a mop bucket filled with purple drink and puke. You love these little nostalgic cash grabs and we have no fucking idea why but who are we to pass up on this unique opportunity to separate you from your money margaret i would like you to meet the devolver digital Entertainment system, classic. This adorable box of plastic and nostalgia comes preloaded with 25 of your favorite classic Devolver games. Jeffrey. Yes, mother. Drop that super legit live demo game controller and come on up here. Show these people the magic that is the Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic. The Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic packs an SFPGA processor by Swedish manufacturer Lockhead AB. Um, this is a Sega Dreamcast. Shut up, Jeffrey. Rocking a- You repainted a Sega Dreamcast. Just putting it out there. Look, these aren't even plugged into anything. <laughs> this, this is a Metal Wolf Chaos disc. That was only released on the Xbox. It's not even a Devolver game. And it's Japanese and not real. Also. Beautiful, man. Totino's Pizza Rolls. 2004, our good friends at From Software released a game that, unbeknownst to them, would lay the very foundation for the modern American political landscape. This, this game, this motherfucking legendary piece of cold rolled amazing was forged in the most sacred elements of video game development mechs explosions and overly dramatic voice acting ladies gentlemen holy fucking shit may i present to you from software's 2004 masterclass in democratic mech warfare metal wolf Welcome to the White House. Michael! <laughs> Richard! Yeah! Metal Wolf Chaos XD 
Let me see. Bring in the LED. Lock it down. She's on. All right, what's the story? We were able to save her heart. What? I thought we agreed on total body prosthesis. Now lose the heart. Jesus. Did you hear me? Doesn't matter if we're gonna wipe her anyway. All right, yeah, lose the heart. On it. You're gonna be one bad motherfucker. Shut her down. We get the best of both worlds. The fastest reflexes modern technology has to offer. Onboard computer assisted memory and a lifetime of Devolver Digital Executive Programming. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you Mina Motherfucking Struthers. Coming this year, Paggle 2! No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, that concludes it for today on our stream. We're just doing the after shit now. So if you want to leave, you can leave. We can stay around for us just to talk about random shit that is going on. Of course, we're going to drop some straw polls into the chat if you would like to participate. I'll open up the round table in just a second. Let's get these poor cards out, obviously. Start filling them up. I've just dropped them in Discord, Twitch, and YouTube. I'll pop one of them up right now. Obviously, since there's nothing now to do. The one that I think I put up was the Bethesda one. Pretty sure that was the first one I put up. We have a Devolver one that's coming down the pipes shortly. We'll just get this one finished up first. Like I said, I'll open up the, um, the thing very shortly. Um, so just give me a second as I figure this out. And just put on the thing so now you all know who's talking and who's not. Alrighty. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the very beginning, by the way. It was now intention. Shit happens, as you know. Okay. Let's have a look at the results of the moment. <laughs> Bethesda's report cards are solid fucking F. <laughs> you guys did not like that shit at all. And while we're at it, I'll drop the... Um... <laughs> I didn't know it would be. We'll drop Devolvers as well. Devolver didn't really announce anything. I just kind of shout on a few things that will drop those out anyway.
Um, yeah, I just put a map there too, and we'll have that up in a second as well. I'm going to put up the round table now to include anyone else who wants to participate and come into the stream. Anyway, uh, we just this is just the after show now. There's nothing interesting happening. We're done with today's stream, so if you want to leave, you can leave if you would like. It is totally up to you, and I don't care either way. I'm just going to include all these other random people. Get that means get out. Hello, how are we? All right, let's uh, have a look at the... So that was the Bethesda's report card, which is showing a solid F. Um, no one seemed to like what Todd Howard had to say. And let's see if you guys um, have already completed <clears throat> Yeah. Wait a second. I, I know you were gonna. I know you want to speak, but you know you gotta wait your turn, buddy boy. Uh, yeah, I gotta wait for you to read some more comments. I obviously have to read comments because it's my fucking job as a host. Dumb cunt. <laughs> a second, I get this one. Up. Yeah. Uh, a for devolve. Devolve didn't even announce shit. You fucking idiots. Yeah, uh, but it was funny. S S S J J K underscores the devolver is an F. Tyrand said, "Excuse me, Todd one. No, he didn't. Personally, I rated a solid E. What actual scum thought Bethesda was good? Well, you'll figure that one out. Um, All Devolver had to do was um, go out. The, I mean, like, it's a shit post. That's mm. what it is. Is CR Moon. No milk option. Well, we can't include that in the straw poll. Milky and Milky. Sergeant Hydra. Devolver showed them how to really capture an audience's interests. Wilson Harrier, Metal Wolf Chaos was fun. And the hue is over. I love slash Todd Howard slash I have the same hairstyle, but Latino and way dirtier. That's really good. <laughs> right, I'm going to include other random people into the chat. We'll start with K um, and 9K I, bits. I'm just here to say, say, I really like oh, Mommy's Milk. Yes. I know you like Mommy's Milk. I know you're a fucking femdom porn addict. Um, <laughs> I wish Tina would step on me, TBH. I mean, Nina, we got to get fuck. fucking Todd back in here and call us degenerates again. Um. Yes. But that <laughs> was, was like it started on such a nice high note with rage. I'm excited for rage too because it just I it looks fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like rage, Destiny rage. in the wasteland. It's kind of weird how they were promoting rage too because they were like, like rage is back, guys. Rage was never here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, it looks nothing like Destiny because it's it's not a it, it, it's RPG. literally just Borderlands and Destiny. What it's, more, it's more like Borderlands and Bullet Storm. It's it? nothing like Destiny. It literally has a jump in a ground pound. Mechanically speaking, yes. Yeah, but so yeah, does like there. Doom. I think has a ground pound, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I haven't played Doom in like Doom, two Doom, years. Doom was another good announcement of theirs. That's that's why I had them as a D before the last two announcements was because of Doom too. Yeah. That's his report card has skyrocketed. Well, not skyrocketed. Sorry, it's tied between C and F. <laughs> <laughs> So people aren't like, I but mean, like, there was some good things that Bethesda said, but there was also... So it's a divisive that. presentation. That's what you used to I mean, it was, <laughs> it was shit because, like, nothing they else they really showed was, like, was it was all DLCs, Doom, announce, and then, like, announcement trailers. They they didn't really have anything. The the two <laughs> good things were the Prey DLC and Doom 2. That, that's pretty um, much. Was. Everything else was garbage. <laughs> Uh, Do you agree? Is, is updated. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to invite some more people in here. I'm going to actually throw out the people who have had in here for a while so that says goodbye to you. Get my ass out of here. It's my birthday. Oh, no, Why am I here? No, you're... Happy, happy birthday. birthday. How old are you? Happy birthday. 25, unfortunately. Wow. Right. Well, um, welcome to the club. And here I am fucking watching video game conferences. In my you're as old as me now. How do you feel? Depressed. I'm going yeah, to kick out Importuno oh, and no. K Constant. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm here. Throwing, throwing you out for some other people. I'm putting you back in the waiting room. Thank you guys for continuing. Out, out, out. Oh, boy. Thank you guys. Um, later. I'm going to put GH Morello, and you're already dead. Hi, how are you guys? Oh, hey. What's up? Nothing much. I'm just, this is the end of the show thing. You already know what's going on. I've put you in here before. I'm also going to put Kill Cheese Puff. I've, not, not, I've never seen him before. And I know that Andy is nostalgic junkie. You can't trust the Put the mute again. Oh. Let's get the mute right. again in here. The mute, what? Full Maverick? He's, yeah. he, he's muted deaf in depth. Puff. Let's go. Yeah, he's not going to oh. fucking talk. Um. Oh, sweet left. Right. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like people are underrating the Bethesda conference. I really thought it was pretty great. Um, it, it, it was well, alright. Right. A couple of really like, shitty ones, but a couple. But, of... I mean, uh, here's Todd, the thing. Go for I, it. 
some things kind of dragged on for a bit too much, especially with Fallout 76. I mean, I just want them to get straight to the point. They showed a lot of gameplay clips, like, oh, I don't yeah, know what definitely. else you wanted. But, uh, what? no, honestly, what? Todd acknowledges the fact that, like, his his memehood, like, you know, like, oh, it, Todd, it doesn't that work. Was, yeah. um, I think that was very clever of him, because Todd had this uh, sound and look of that he's fucking tired of the jokes and stuff. And he is, <laughs> and so he fucking said, okay, bitches, you want, you want to make these jokes, we're going to make them, so then you say... These aren't funny anymore, so you don't make them anymore. But not just that, I don't know, maybe, I think he thinks they're funny and- Yeah, I mean, but Todd that was amusing as usual, but- Yeah, I right. mean, just Todd being there is good. But, all right, not just that, yeah. they announced that Star Game, whatever the fuck it's called, and that's supposed to be, from what I've heard, a tie-in between Fallout and, uh, the Elder Scrolls universe. Um, Starfield then, is the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starlink. And then The also, only thing we know about it is the IP. Right, but I've heard rumors that it's supposed to be like a link between the two universes. But also, well, just like the most exciting heard... stuff they announced was like stuff they didn't give any details about. They're like, oh, hey, True. we're working on a new Elder Scrolls. So, yeah, oh, and hey, a new Elder Scrolls. IP. So the, when people say that it wasn't a good like conference, like, all right, hold on, you got a new Doom, you got a new Rage, you got a new Fallout, you got a new Elder Scrolls, you got a new IP. What the fuck else could they have? Done? That was like perfect. That's like I a wanted game. an what? actual new Fallout. And not like footage. some weird like rust Fallout bullshit. So it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Having having like a more Fallout New Vegas style spinoff would have been a better idea. IMO. They should have gone with the online. Yeah. Um, I did not like what it like the idea of their new online Fallout. But then I saw the gameplay, and the gameplay looks honestly fun. looks like it would be fun. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, I mean it's um, gonna be. I mean, I, we've all played it before. Like, like we we know what it's gonna play like. Um, so like you could tell if you're gonna like it or hate it. Um, I'm more interested in the setting. That's all I care about. Yeah, the, the main issue I have a problem with is the fucking end cap privatized nukes shit. Because that's just to me when I saw that I'm like this is the nail in the coffin of what the original Fallout games were about. Because the original Fallout, because think about like in Fallout New Vegas for example, the only time you get to launch, the only two times you get to launch a nuke in that game are in the final DLC. It's a big deal, and if you do it, you're considered a fucking dickhead. And here, right, all yeah. recreational nukes, guys, and Cap Paradise, just nuke everyone. Who the fuck cares? I mean, I'm gonna that was the read any one. Oh, oh shut that. up. Shut up! Fuck I'm gonna read you. out some fucking... I'm gonna read out some fucking <laughs> things in the Twitch and YouTube chat. You got Australian nukes. Go fuck yourself. Um, Reckland from Twitter says Doom 4 is utter shite. It wasn't called Doom 4, you fucking uh, retard. Sorry, Dalpa. Hey, Constance says Pray uh, DLC and Doom 2 were the only... Uh, yeah, what the fuck is with the Shut up! Infinite I'm to, I, I kinda agree. Uh, Maximus says, says nobody gave a shit about Rage, all that hype. I do. They said it was always online, and he also said, I'll give you Elder Scrolls and Starfield, but they showed literally nothing from either. Um, and what's happening here? Uh, see, uh, uh, Ori said wins Devolver, we just had it, and it's over now, so you can leave if you don't want to listen to us comment. Um, see, our moon says, the top post won't die, this is off YouTube. Uh... And then uh, he was over from YouTube as well, so what if Todd Preston was being made by Todd himself? And then see, I mean, so that's why he won't die. Perhaps he is behind it, who fucking knows, who fucking cares. This is the end of the show segment, we're not doing anything else, there's no other conferences hey, related. Hey this guys. Is over. We will end the stream shortly, it's just a little debrief and stuff. I'm gonna throw more people uh, in here, put in the Celtic junk. I think he's fucking high as kite. I'm gonna get rid of the Killer Cheese Puff and GH Morello, thank you guys for being in here. Thank what? you. We'll oh, see you fine. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'll we'll get you out of here. Um, uh, guys, hear, hear me out on this. Hear me out on this real fast. What if the Todd Howard that was at the Microsoft press conference was a different Todd Howard than the one at the Bethesda press oh press my conference? God, my <laughs> oh, are you still like, locked on? No. <laughs> I was just still... I keep telling <laughs> you that I talk like this because... Uh-huh. Uh, I, I act like I'm white, and also because I can't talk loud, so it gives the effect of being high. I don't believe that. I'm not, I'm not actually high. <laughs> don't buy that at all, cunt. How do I, I, believe, believe, how, how do I prove that to you? I don't know. <laughs> how do I prove that to you? <laughs> I need you to show me every drawer in your house, and if there is no weed or bong, I'll, I'll clear you. 
Don't do that, please. What was interesting about the Elder Scrolls game they announced, Elder Scrolls Blades, was that it seemed like a really shitty mobile game at first, but then they announced that it's coming to literally every platform known to man in the in the grand Todd Howard tradition. So how the yeah. fuck are they going to make it, like, not apps on any platform other than the one it was designed for? I feel like they're just going to dumb it the fuck down. Like, it, just mobile in general brings down any fucking chance that could be, like, anything more than a really watered-down version of anything else. Like, the fact that you're supposed to be playing PvP against someone who's tapping on a screen to move and, to, you know, swiping to attack, like, I feel like you can't really do anything. Fortnite does it. Fuck Fortnite. Yeah, it's more like Fortnite. It's a person shooter. Um... Hey, here's my question. Where the fuck was Serious Sam? Like, yeah. I thought they said, like, hey, we're gonna show off Serious Sam 4. Was gone. That was really Rage 2. It was a ploy. Um... More comments oh, they said, uh, that, yeah, press and partners at E3. Why, why didn't they just show off Serious Sam 4? Maximus says, what kind of ridiculous music is this? It's just off my Spotify. I have this lean on by fucking Major Lazer. Sorry about that. Let me change it a little bit. Uh, yeah, Divinity by Paul Robinson goes around. Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Something about in the Twitch chat about... Um, imagine they didn't fear the fans about Fallout and make new Fallout 76 MMO shit with microtransactions with them. I don't understand so, what this is. This is that was directed towards me for some. I don't know why. I'm I'm Volvo Anthony in the chat, and I don't understand where that came from. But yeah, that would be shitty if they were to make a Fallout 76 with microtransactions, and cosmetics. No one, no one would want that. I don't, it's called I don't the know. Creation Club, my dude. I don't really get the uh, the uh, what's it called the ex example. Oh uh, shit! Um, Wait. If that's mobile era, if it's multiplayer only, that kind of confirms what they were saying before. People were saying that it was going to be fucking no mods uh, in Creation Club only. Yeah. Okay. We're going to probably wrap this up because no one's now talking. Thank you guys for being here. We will see you for day three tomorrow. Day three. What do we have for day three? At very beginning. Square Enix. Ritual. Square Enix's yeah, conference, which is video three. recorded. That's Square Enix at Nintendo. Nintendo. Gaming. That. So that starts at 10 in the morning in Los Angeles, which is LA time, by the way. Mm. Ubisoft is at 1 o'clock, then followed by the PC Gaming Show at 3 and PlayStation Girl at one. 6. So that is going to be a big day. Of course, if you live in other time zones, we do have that in the announcement sections of the Discord. Or you can just literally fucking Google it. But I will be joining you at a toasty 3 a.m. my time <laughs> to open up the Square Enix conference. And I am not looking forward to it. Thank you guys for participating. It's been a lot of fun. We'll yeah, uh, just to say again. that Countertunes is going to do a rendition of all of the Kingdom Hearts songs. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, he uh, will Simple and clean, and he's going to sing it for us live. Uh -huh. This is going to happen. This is the end of the stream. We'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early. Have fun. Enjoy right, your day. See you, homies. This shit just never gets old. <laughs>